Talk to me about the mentality, though, of, of recruiting, right? Because, yeah. I mean, we, we went through it with Freddie, but it, it it's almost like if if I didn't know any better, if I'm naive and never been in this business, I I would think, dude, it sounds like you're trying to get them not to do this. Oh, yeah. But you Absolutely. are. Oh, yeah, 100%. You know, and, and I learned that from Andrew. I mean, Andrew yeah. talks about the lot. He spends more time talking about why they shouldn't do it than why they should. Right. Um, and, um, you know, so we have, you know, I work with Jamie, Ufemi, and Frank, and yep. we have a whole list of questions that we ask. And, you know, like, you know, did you play any sports in high school? You know, um, have you ever had your own business? You know, when did you start working? Yeah. Um, what's the most money they made in everyone in any given year? Okay, how long ago was that? You know, and then I say, well, the reason I ask is because, you know, this is the kind of income that is potential in this business if you work and right. if you invest and if you ask for questions and if you are humble and you don't have a big ego, mm. you know, but a lot of times people haven't been able to have never had the opportunity to manage this kind of money, you know. Um, and, you know, I ask questions like, if you're no longer here in 60 days, why would that be? Mm. What, and I, I just, what do they normally say? Um, they usually put it on themselves, yeah, which is the right answer, right? Right. Well, the, that's it, what you're looking for. Exactly, exactly. And then I dig a little bit deeper. Yeah. Well, that means I probably didn't try hard enough. Well, what does that mean? Mm. You know, just like I do on telesales with with leads. Right. I'm, you know, I because I mean, these are people. I mean, when you're working with hundreds of agents, you know, because we have you know a couple hundred agents that I work with directly. But, you know, we're all one team. So, mm -hmm. you know, if Bob calls me from Oklahoma or Mary calls me from Florida, regardless if they're in my agency or not, I mean, I'm asking questions. I'm jumping on a phone call. You know, I'll do a three-way, you know, I'll mm -hmm. help with an underwriting, whatever it is. And now we're on all these Zoom calls all the time. It's not like it's just FFL Northeast Zoom call. It's right. it's whomever's on there, yeah. you know. Um, but I'm saying, you know, you know, this is, this is probably not the right thing for you. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'll say, do you have – four to six hours every day for the next 10 days, uninterrupted, no excuses. Right. Um, well, why is that? Well, that's what you're going to need in order to pass the exam. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and then people, you know, you know, and some, and, and I know there's a sale made every time. Sure. You know? So if they sell me and I'm like, okay, you know, you know, if the money looks right, I'm like, you are going to, you know, it's 50 bucks for the exam, 50 bucks for the license, 144 for the, you know, and you're going to have to buy some leads. I'll have some second chance leads available for you in your area, but they've been called dozens of times, but this will give you the opportunity to start to find mm -hmm. your voice. Um, but you will need money to invest in leads. You know, do you have X, you know, set aside? No, I don't. I said, with all due respect, it's probably not the right time yeah. for you. I and said, that's okay. Yeah. And then I also, I said, you probably, you might be able to work somewhere else in family first life yeah. or in this industry, but it just won't be with me. And here are the reasons why, right. you know, because, you know, when I'm selling and I'm trying to help four or 500 families in a year and I'm trying to help others in my agency help four or 500 mm -hmm. families, there's only, you know, and I have, I'm a son, I'm a dad, I'm a husband. There's, there's, you know, there's, you know, you right. get 168 hours in a week, but you know, it, it, it runs out quick when yeah. you, when you spread yourself too thin. So I want to make sure that that's crystal clear mm -hmm. with them and the, the investment that I'm, I'm willing to make in them if they're willing to make that same investment, it doesn't just have to be dollars, but right. like, you know, I mean, you know, but you know, I'll see people like, you know, and sometimes I'll see people that are hundred percent through the test, through the, through the thing. But I'm like, well, when do you, what's the next step? Mm -hmm. And then I'll see, you know, you know, cause I get that email at three fifteen every morning from Excel. And that's one of the first things I look at. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, when they last log in. Okay. That's not what we talked about. Right. You know? So it's, you know, you're building a business mm -hmm. and you, sh I've heard this years ago, Go into business with people that you like and you want to be in business with, mm -hmm. right? And that it's the same concept when you're building, your, when you're recruiting. Recruit people you like. Oh, yeah. Recruit people, not just like, oh, you like because they're funny or, or, you know, we like the same TV shows. No, they have the same values. They're going to do the same things you're willing to do. And it's okay. Like, I love what you said. You could probably join another FFL agency mm -hmm. or another company in, in the same, but you just, you're not a good fit for this one because mm -hmm. this is how we do it here. Mm-hmm. Yes and no on a recruiting call is of equal value. It's not a, oh, my God, I got a yes. Or, damn it, he said no. No, getting the answer is the goal. Yeah. Right? Like, it, because if you get the wrong person to say yes, that's just going to lead to a ton of headaches down the road. They're never going to be the right person. Weed them out as soon as possible. There's plenty of people out there. <laughs> Oh, millions. Millions, millions of people. Millions and millions of people. That's why I'm just mind-boggling sometimes when you get these, like, internally they're fighting over, well, I recruited so-and-so. I'm like, dude, dude, do you know how many licenses? Forget about unlight. Do you know how many license agents are out there, yeah. number one? Mm -hmm. Do you know how many people are out there, number two? Just call somebody else. Yeah. Let it go. 
but you don't understand. I, I talked to him. He's my, I don't give a shit. Just call somebody else. That's one thing that Eric shared with me in the beginning. Cause I would, you know, every once in a while you think you're talking to Michael Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, Schmidt, calm relax, down. Right. calm down. Yeah. It's one person, yep. you know? And, but you don't know, you right. don't know in the beginning. You're like, Oh my God, this is, this, this oh, is the yeah. guy. This is the girl. I got a know? guy. <laughs> like when people say that, that's almost up there with all the leads. I got a guy. My, I got, let me t- I'll tell you about this guy yeah. or this. How many times have you heard this? He's going to be great at it. Mm-hmm. I've never seen someone be great at it after someone made that statement. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's usually the person you least expect. Yeah. I've never seen it. He's going to be great that, okay. He's either going to roll up a bunch of debt or he's going to quit pretty soon. But yes or no, equal value, recruit for the no. Mm-hmm. Try to get try to get them to say no. Mm-hmm. I love what Zach Tordowski years ago, he said this on a podcast. He said that um, kind of like what you, what you were talking about, asking these questions and really trying to weed them out. He said, when, not if, when you spend $2,000 on leads, Eric, and you make no sales, what are you going to do? Yeah. Oh, that, that, that could happen? Oh, no, no, no. That will happen. <laughs> it may not happen your first. It may happen three months in. Dude, I remember I was I was like three four months in already making sales doing well, and then I had an over ten day out of nowhere, over sat in ten houses and didn't help one family. Mm-hmm. It's gonna happen, not if. See what they say. Yeah, weed yeah. them out. How was your mindset before that day? How was it afterwards? And how'd you deal with it moving forward? Yeah. You know, Zach was one of the first. Um, we because he started a little bit before me, and we yeah. hung out. Um, this is, you know, obviously, you know, he's married, has children, you know, mm-hmm. with Deb, but you know, they were just dating at the time when we were chatting in Vegas and uh, he's like, dude, it's just not that deep. Mm-mm. And I, I always come back to that. It's yeah. just not that deep. Nope. It's just not that deep. It's just, not just go to work. Right. The answer to most of your challenges is leads. Yeah. Get yep. more. Two things that you control in this business that will determine your success or lack thereof attitude activity. Yep. That's it. Yeah, that's, there's nothing else. We got the sweat, wear the sweatshirt, you know, yeah. we got the t-shirts, you know. Yeah, it's not just a cool slogan no, no, that no. looks cool on shirts. It's yeah. real. Mm-hmm. <laughs>